and welcome to medicsvoices.com, where we talk to the key opinion leaders in health and medicine around the world. Today I'm talking to Luciano Douro, who I had the pleasure of meeting when I visited Brazil. Luciano is a family doctor, but more importantly now, he's the coordinator of the medical school, and there have been huge changes in medical education in Brazil. You have a lot of challenges, Luciano. Tell me a little bit about them. The, the, the mainly the challenge that I have a coordinator of a, a medical school here in a, at the university, a private university, is that the, the mindset, the mentality, the way uh, we used to think as uh, in my generation is now, com I, I can say, uh, uh, almost completely different. It's another way to, to face problems. It's another way to... To understand the, how we need to get the, the lessons of a, a medical school, we have we hear uh, lots of technology to use, but uh, we have some discussion uh, about uh, how teachers of my age, of an older age, could use this uh, technology to teach medical students, and uh, we have facing this. Uh, sometimes uh, we don't have all this, uh, it's, it's not matching. And uh, also, they are 18, 18 19 years old, and uh, they are having huge difficulties deal with uh, suffering, deal with uh, not knowing how to do things. And uh, we have huge mental issues with our medical students now uh, nowadays uh, um, i'm getting to a, 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 i created a, a, a kind of a, a research uh, about uh, mental health and the uh, the use of uh, medication we have uh, i think uh, my hypothesis is uh, it's over 80 percent of our students using uh, some kind of Antidepressor, uh, depressive medicine, uh, benzodiazepine, uh, I don't know what else. And uh, to deal with this, these problems in a private uh, medical school that demands payment out of pockets, it's a huge, but I, I think this is a, a, a good challenge to find uh, the way you can uh, talk to them and uh, find some... Uh, um, to, 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 to put the things uh, more acceptable for them. In our kind of uh, health uh, system uh, also, uh, basically, uh, we don't have uh, people, we don't have students that use our national health system, the public health system. They pay out of pocket. They have uh, some another kind of way to, to pay for their health all the entire life of, of them of the family. So the national system of the, is completely different from their reality, their lives. And this is another challenge to, to change this uh, folder in their minds. You've had a huge increase in the number of medical students in Brazil. When did that begin and how has that affected medical school? It became a reality, I think, 10 or 15 years ago. They, think, they thought that uh, increasing the number of medical schools, our population could have more access, more access to, to uh, a medical professional, a doctor. But uh, we have huge uh, uh, territory and uh, we have geographic difficulties. Uh, we have our Amazon that we need uh, to get medical uh, advice, to med medical consultation we need uh, to get in a boat and travel two days to a river and uh, see uh, our indians are very are poorly cared and uh, our new new doctors they didn't get those that idea to to go to this more the private areas they still are looking for jobs uh, around uh, the big centers and cap at capitals or cities more populated that can uh, bring them more opportunities, job opportunities. And even with the, with this uh, idea, government idea, it's, it's the same for 
10 to 15 uh, years. Now we have uh, another try to get those medical to those the private area to uh, in order to to get the uh, more paid uh, more uh, work conditions and we don't know we don't know uh, uh, the first attempt was not so good at all but we're, we're still trying when I was in Brazil, I was very impressed with the emphasis on primary care and the primary care centers throughout the country. Is this still the case? Is there still the same emphasis on primary care? Uh, I can answer that uh, as a, a yes and, and a no. Yes, because uh, once you started and uh, you never you never forget this idea. But uh, no, for the way of how it, it's, it's getting done. The government, the, the, our Minister of Health, tried on tough uh, ways to, to engage health professionals to get the idea of primary care. But we have lots of uh, professionals working without, without this, uh, uh, this way of thinking or uh, getting trained to it. Despite all the, the, the uh, attempts to teach our medical students uh, focusing in primary care. Uh, despite this, uh, we, we, we still don't have their changing and working at primary care with uh, uh, longi longitudinality. They, they get to one year and they, they pull off the, off the, the work to, to do a residency, another specialty. But still, the primary care is, uh, unfortunately, I'm not so enthusiastic about it, unfortunately. I was also interested in the emphasis on public health. Is public health a big emphasis still? Yes. Uh, you see, um, it's very attached to a way of thinking of our governments. We have the left and we have right. We have uh, right Bolsonaro, we have left Lula. And uh, when left was at the government, we have much more of those uh, way of thinking about public health. And well, in, in uh, the, the, the Bolsonaro government, uh, I, I, I saw some different ways to, to, to engage the private sector to, to get health care and uh, well, in order to, to create a, a bigger market uh, gains, you see, uh, and uh, for, for a whole country, a growing economic, growing economically, and by those, by this growth, the economic growth, all people could get more help, you see, but, but uh, I think we have with the uh, center and uh, the left, government, we have this getting more discussed. Uh, for example, for the first time in all uh, history in Brazil, we have a ministry of Indians uh, issues with an Indian as a minister. And our Indians, they don't uh, have access to a, a good uh, health care for any, any problems. And uh, it's a uh, uh, a fight between all those ideologies, the right and left. Well, now from January, we have already uh, this idea of this uh, Ministry of uh, Indians, because we have a, a very substantial number of Indians in our country, and they are uh, put aside until now. I think now it's going to be a public health way of thinking. Luciano, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you again. Thank you for your wonderful insights into healthcare in Brazil. One of my greatest memories is of the enthusiasm and the commitment of the young doctors in Brazil. Luciano, thank you very much indeed.